Hey, what is going on there, YouTube? This is The Gaming Guy, and today I am bringing you to the Player of the Month, Harry Kane, SBC. Yeah, my voice is really blocked right now. Uh, so yeah, Player of the Month, Harry Kane, SBC. One of the most irritating SBCs I've ever submitted. Not as expenses... Expenses? Great job, Robert. Not as expensive as the Ebra SBC, the Diego Costa SBC, or the Hazard SBC. But it does come at a cost due to the Spurs side needing a inform from the attacking point of the Spurs team. So you need an inform from that side, which most of them at this point are either extinct or 160 to about 300k at the cheapest. At first, Delhi Ali was the cheapest. Um, he was 90k, but then they upped his price range, so sort of screwed everyone over, including me. But you know. Uh, so in the end, I had to sell a couple of players, do a couple of things, play a load of games, sell a load of things in the end, just to afford the player. I just realised I've got no lighting on, but oh well. Um, for the rest of the teams, they were pretty easy because I had most of the players in my club as either untradeable informs or informs that I had packed who weren't worth a lot, and they were also high rated. So I had Shawcross untradeable, I had uh, Carisso, I think it is untradeable, the goalkeeper, and Thorvin. Untrade uh, or tradable in form, uh, and then I just had to go out and pick up a couple of players, so about 30 or 40k on top of that, or on top of what the Delhi Alley amount was, and that pretty much sorted out the squads. So, yeah, I'll pretty much just show you now the teams, and then that'll pretty much be it. The one main thing that you have to take into consideration with this is when you buy your players or who you buy, because most people might focus on a Premier League team or a Bundesliga side for the uh, the 84 rated team where you have to have three special cards in it. But I think the League One is probably the easiest to go for, just because, I mean, three informs in there are probably only going to cost you at most about 45k, and then the rest of the team that you can form around it is not going to cost a lot. Uh, I had a quite, I had quite a couple of players in my club though who I could just throw into it. The same with the first one uh, for the previous teams. I had an inform for that in my club already, who was championship, so I could just throw him in as well. But most of the teams were pretty simple to make. I mean, the first side would only cost you about eleven thousand or twelve thousand coins at a push, because you only need an inform in there who just makes the chemistry complete. So, it's not the hardest thing to do. I could have put about a 6k inform, silver inform in there, but I just thought I'd just get rid of a gold one, just because I'm never going to use the gold one. He had a really decent card, but I just thought, let's just get rid of him. So, anyway, we're coming to the end of the video. My voice sounds absolutely amazing, uh, but we're coming to the end of the video, and as you can see, the Harry Kane should be coming up on screen now. To be honest, it is a really cool card. Um, I did have to get rid of quite a couple of players who I think were really decent, but... That's the thing that just happens when you sell and buy players on FIFA, isn't it? So yeah, Harry Kane, I'm going to put him in a Premier League side that I've got or put him on the subs bench from, for my main side. Uh, but other than that, if you enjoyed the video, a like would be appreciated. If you've done the SBC, you can comment down below and tell me how you got through the routes or what you did to get through it. But yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace.